She says hello too. <laughs> but I am your host. Let me take that off. Real quick. I'm your host, Jells. How y'all doing? Glad that you guys are joining me on today. I am meal prepping for a client, and um, I am making meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. I'm making. Plant-based chicken, making some cauliflower mash, a green vegetable meddling, and we'll get into that. And I'm making, um, that's what I'm doing today, and I wanted you all to join me on today. I missed you guys so much. Hey, y'all. Hey, auntie. Oh, let me take this off. Hey, auntie. Thank you for joining the show. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, mom. I'm going to say, your food be looking good. Thank you. It is good. <laughs> hey, cuz. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome. 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 Welcome in the room. All right. So, already, guys, in the oven, I have my um, plant based chicken in the oven. Let me show you which one I'm using. I love these. Um, they're by Guardian, the ultimate plant-based chicken fillet. They are amazing, amazing, amazing. So I'll be using that. And I have about eight minutes left. They're, they've been in the oven um, for about 22 minutes. In about eight minutes, they'll be on for 22 minutes. Um, and then here, oh, let me put this camera on so you guys can see. Hold on. All right. All right. So here. Okay. So here we have um, the butternut squash. And the butternut squash, I have, I'm using. What did I put? Oh, here it is. I'm using the coconut palm sugar. I drizzled some honey and um, some cinnamon sugar as well. And I'm going to pop this into the oven. We're going to go ahead and roast this for um, about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to check it. Um, I want it to be finger, finger, not finger, fork tender. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in now. I have my oven set at 450, um, and that's for the chicken, the chicken fillets. Those need to be on there for 450. Next, I want to start working on our meatloaf. Let um, me grab that out of the fridge. So um, I have some turkey meat here. Let me grab my gloves. So I have my turkey. I'm going to add in 
my seasoning blend. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. It's hot day. We almost through the week. I can't believe it. I'm just gonna throw my seasoning blend in there. Yep. I don't trash bucket um so i put that in there i love that in my meatloaf if you don't use it you're missing out so put some of that in there of course you guys know i'm gonna add some garlic And I'm going to put in some seasonings, some of my special seasonings in here. I'm going to use a little bit of gourmet. Oh, I just wasted that. I'm going to add some of my seasonings. Go some geo powder, some um, pepper. The Obi Wan with Jeff. It is so interesting. Like I'm so not a like Star Trek girl at all. Um, don't tell nobody. It's just between us. But I ain't never seen the the first one. I ain't, I haven't seen any of the Star Trek series. So I don't know. Don't don't take my card. I don't know. But anyway, the Obi Wan Kenobi. I think that's how you say it. It's actually pretty good. And the other, the other um, movies, kind of, sort of, almost. I mean, I guess I probably should, right? To kind of know who these people are. I guess so. That was just a little paprika. Um, I think that's what I'm going to put in here. And I'm going to put in just a dash of pink Himalayan. Put some of that in there. But um, it's actually pretty good. And I'm going to put in some Parmesan Romano cheese. A little bit. And this is probably about a pound of meat, I think. It's a little, it's a little, a little over a pound. And I'm going to add in my, my breadcrumbs to that. And I'm going to add an egg. Okay, what'd you say? You had a took it off and have been relaxing all day. Okay, play a hooky. I like it. I'm glad. I haven't watched them either. Join the club. Oh, awesome. Okay, I don't feel bad then. I'm not the only one. But yeah, I have not seen not one episode of uh, of Star Trek. Not one. Alright, so I'm going to use my hands. Go ahead. I have on gloves. Still in, so you're gonna mix it all up. Incorporate all those seasonings at Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Star Trek or Star Wars. Oh my goodness, aren't they the same? They're not the same? <laughs> I don't know. I get Marvel and DC confused. I like them both like them both can i do that are people like really serious about star wars and um dc and marvel like you got to choose one or the other 
I don't know. Okay, y'all. So I'm just, you know, folding, making sure everything is in there. All right, I got a minute left on my chicken patties. One minute left. <clears throat> Make sure that it gets incorporated. The breadcrumbs. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more seasoning into this. Y'all know I use my nose for my seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this glove off. I'm gonna take one of my gloves off. I want the other one. Okay, so she says Star Trek. You have no clue. Nope, they're different. Oh no, wait. And Luke Skywalker is Star Wars. Scotty is Star Trek. Are you serious? They're not the same thing. Star Wars and Star Trek are not the same. That is that is beyond me. Okay, I'm taking my chicken patties out, guys. Yeah, y'all, you just threw me for a loop with um with that one. I had no idea. Oh, okay, let me turn it off. I took it out. Thank you. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the gourmet. Yeah, you really got me with that one because I had no clue. No clue at all. I thought, wait, Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker and Scotty, who was, look, I heard it's like when they say Scotty beat me up, is that, that's what they're talking about? again your girl has no clue okay so i just added a little bit more breadcrumb and a little bit more gourmet seasoning to my meatloaf earth vader is luke's father i think i just remember her and luke i am your father. girl but you don't even <laughs> i've heard that too luke i am your father but I thought they were all the same. Star Wars. Wait, Star Trek isn't Star Trek like the TV show that like spun off of Star Wars? Is is that right? I don't know. That's it. You said Earth Vader. Earth Vader. All right. Anywho, Mommy Loaf is ready. So, guys, I'm gonna set this. Right here, and look at these mini loaves I found. Aren't they so cute? Let me take that off. Look at these. Aren't they so adorable? My mini loaves. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. Oh, I am gonna put. I forgot to put a little bit of oil in my um. I'll put it in. I'll just spray the pan. Okay, so we're going to spray that. We're going to just take our meat here. I knew what I forgot. It's something in the seasoning that I'm missing. And I don't want to continue without it, and that's something about it. Just a little bit. Okay, one last mix. Okay, Darth. Hey, hey, welcome to the show. Darth Vader, not Earth Vader. You know, that's funny. I know, autocorrect will mess you up, okay? 
autocorrect will have you just looking real crazy. Ooh, y'all have my cat. I don't know what's wrong with her. She wants to go outside. But anyway. All right, so I'm going to take some of this meat. Now we're just going to push this down into our pan, our loaf. Somebody say your cat sounds like she's talking. I know, she does, she does talk. I call her name, she's like, yeah, well. And we be talking back and forth. Hey, Rachel. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Hey, cousin. Love you. Thank you for joining the show. Yeah, she definitely, um, she definitely talks back. That's for sure. This morning, I had to ask her who she think thought well, she was talking to because I had to. Um, I didn't chase her because I'm not. I'm not running. It's too hot to be running after an animal, right? Okay, so. I was like, if she wants to go, she could go. But at the same time, I couldn't just leave her out there like that. So I kind of, you know, chastised her from running out the door. And she was just like, wah, 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 wah. And I'm like, who are you talking to? Oh, hey, Sister Nett. Sounds like she's fussing. Yeah, she, she wants to go outside. She wants to be like the dog. She wants to go out. She wants me to put the chain on her so she can go walk. I'm like, girl, you are a cat. <laughs> but yeah, she definitely fusses, fusses a lot. She wants her way. But as you can see, I ignore her. <laughs> she okay. Okay, guys, so I got my mean loaves. In their tins, in their little mini loaf pans. Aren't they so cute? I found these at Ross, believe it or not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this into the oven. I'm going to leave my oven uh, still at 450. Pop those in. And I'm going to take my fork and test my, oh, yeah, just a few more moments. I'm going to go ahead and stir my butternut squash. They smell and look delicious. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're going to get that just a few more moments. I'm going to put the eggs back. So, um, I'm going to sit our patties over to the side for just a moment. We got two things in the oven. I'm going to wait until we get the butternut squash out. We forgot to sign in. Okay. Yeah. Love little dainty things. I know, right? Dainty. Cute. Just like your mama. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right. So our meatloaves, our mini meatloaves are in the oven. Our butternut squash is in the oven. We're just going to give that. Let me set a timer for that. I'm going to give that about, about three minutes, honestly, because they were very, um, ten not very tender, but they are getting tender 
uh, fork tender. Just want them to be just a little bit uh, softer. So I'm leaving them in there for just another three minutes. Now, while or before I had come on this evening, I had already had my cauliflower steaming. So if you guys are a faithful viewer of the Cooking Gels show, we've made um, we've made cauliflower mash before. And what you want to do is get you, depending on how much cauliflower you're using, um, I put in just a can of cauliflower with a whole head of cauliflower. And we're going to steam that. You want this to be, you want your cauliflower to be uh, tender. You don't want it to be mush um, right away, okay? But you do want it to be very tender, which it is. I slow boiled this. I'm just going to, um... oh look guys, since I threw it up there. Look at this towel lock. I found this at Ross as well. I got two of them for like a dollar. Can you believe it? It marked it down. But look at this. It says, be the person your dog thinks you are. Hmm, I wonder what, who my dogs think I am. Okay. So I am going to... I think they think I'm a punk, actually. I mean, I'm just being real. I think my dogs think I'm a punk. They like, she's not real. She she do all this yelling. She ain't gonna do nothing. All right, guys. So I am draining my cauliflower. And I'm dumping it back into my pot. Oh, wait, what the cousin say? Hey, cousin. Yummer's cauliflower mash. I know. Mary, look at your baby. She is so beautiful. Oh, thank you, cousin. <laughs> you were going to say a pushover. I know. They do. They think I'm a pushover. It's just crazy. I wish I could join in. I'm getting ready to work outdoors. Ooh, get it in for me. Um, I, have a, I, I have a gym now that I can go to, so... I'm gonna be back going live, y'all. Get my workout on. I haven't, I haven't, haven't stopped. I haven't, haven't uh, given up. Okay, just, just work with your girl. But I, I will keep you in mind. Have a great workout, and thank you for joining the show. Who's about to work out? I don't know. Is that Miss Abronia? I know Miss Abronia. She joins the show, and she's been working out outdoors lately. All right, so. What I'm doing now, guys, is I am mashing my cauliflower because, again, it is very tender. And I boil this, like I said, with um, chicken broth. You could do it with vegetable broth if you'd like. Um, I just use chicken broth. I did put in some garlic, pepper, butter. Um... I put only, what I put? I put like two, maybe three tablespoons of butter, butter in there. I can't wait to work outside again. Oh, yes. Yeah, you could come over. Oh, Lord. Power just went out again. Oh, my goodness. It's so sad. People are still without power. So when you start mashing your your cauliflower, you're gonna get some water, some more juice. So all I'm doing is just trying to press that out. You can use like a cheesecloth if you'd like. Oh, you can. I, I think she's saying mama. I don't know what this girl is saying. But I'm draining the chicken broth in the water. 
Although I didn't add water, but the cauliflower, of course, is going to make its own water. So you just want to drain it. You can use a cheesecloth or just press it out like I'm doing here. You want to get as much liquid out as you can. It's back on. Oh, you're having those uh, surges. She's singing Dog Days of Summer. What song is that? <laughs> I don't know that song. Okay, so let me take my butternut squash out because that did go off. It's getting hot in here. Look at our butternut squash, guys. Oh, yes, that looks so good. Yes, perfect. Still intact. It's not too done where it's mush, but it's perfect. The perfect consistency. But there's our butternut squash. It smells amazing so i'm just gonna sit that over over here all right so we have our cauliflower mash here I'm just working down those stems. Sometimes the stems, you gotta put a little elbow grease into those. But if you can see, we have a nice mash. Look at that, look at that, look at that. See? A nice, a nice mash. <clears throat> They smell delicious. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to sit that over to the side, our, um, our mash. I'm going to go ahead and grab our chicken here. Let's see if it's still hot. It is. Okay, so I am... I love making the plant-based um, chicken parm, but I make mine a little different than everybody else. So y'all getting a little secret. So I like to take some pesto. I like to put pesto. Let me get a thing. I'm just gonna take some out so I'm not double dipping. There you go, mom. I'm cooking now, making noise. <laughs> so I like to put some pesto down first. Y'all, this is gonna be the best chicken parm. I promise. Try it. It's gonna be so good. You gotta get the jardin, or however you say it, jardin, jardin. Right. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna take some sauce. You just need a little bit of the sauce. I'll just put a little on top of my pesto. Like so. And this is um, some marinara sauce that you know I put my little, my little touch on. Okay. And then I got the dairy um, free or the lacto free Parmesan and Romano cheese. And we're going to put that on top. We got that on top, and then I'm just going to, of course, y'all know, we're going to put a little, little parsley on top just to make it look a little nice. And we're going to pop this back. Okay, we've got rubber parts. So here's our chicken parmesan with my pesto and our tomato sauce on a plant-based chicken. We're going to put this back in the oven and we're going to put it in there just to melt our cheese, okay? <clears throat> our meatloaves are looking amazing. So I'm going to close that back up. Again, my oven is still set on uh, 450. The, 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 no, it's still on 450. Sorry. You're not really cooking until you're making noise in the kitchen. I know, that's my thing. I think I need to patent that or whatever it said. Fred said that was the, hey, cousin Fred. All right. So that's our chicken parmesan. I'm going to set that sauce over to the side. I'm going to put my pesto over here. Wash my hands a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put this um, turkey meat. Put a little saloon wrap on it. Put it back in the fridge. And next we're gonna work on our our vegetable medley. That's the last thing we need to do. Everything else is pretty much done. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that back. Okay. So next thing, we're gonna go ahead and work on our vegetables. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um you're gonna go ahead and All right, I'm going to put some olive oil, if I can open it, oh my, and it will break. They sealed this olive oil up. 
want me to get it. But I'm gonna get it. No judgment to say, you gotta make do. And I just made do. All right. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. The thing wouldn't come off. But anyway, pour some olive oil. Oh. And I'm going to turn this on like medium. And I'm going to put in, again, about three tablespoons of butter. It's like three slices. Or, well, it's marked on here. So, what you want to do, let's see, one. Well, that's like two, two tablespoons. I'll do two tablespoons. Maybe I'll just do half. All right, so one tablespoon. And I'm putting some oil in there. I'm just going to put one tablespoon. And in my bucket here, I have some fresh zucchini. I have broccoli in there and some fresh green beans that I snapped and cut myself. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So um, these have been pre-washed, of course. Always wash your your vegetables, your fruits and vegetables. Oh, thanks, cuz. <laughs> oh. One, one of these days you could join my live because then I'll, I'll be able to hear you. All right, so I'm going to just pour in some of these vegetables. So that's zucchini, some broccoli, and green beans in there. Yeah, these are fresh. Listen. Nothing box, nothing canned over here, okay? These are all fresh vegetables. Some of these, I guess, I missed. That's okay. But I just want to break them in half. So that's about half of my, my basket there. I am going to add in some pepper. I'm going to add in some garlic. And I have this on like medium, medium time. <laughs> Bless me. Getting out the shot, sorry. All right, 
so and then that cooked. I'm gonna cover this just so um we can steam the broccoli. And I am gonna add just a little bit of water. Help with our steaming. And we're gonna let that, in the words of Emerald, we're gonna forget about it. Okay, we're gonna forget about it for a little bit. Oh, let me put my, my onion. I forgot my onion. Just a little bit of onion to that. That's some flavor. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's look at our meatloaf. Oh, our chicken parmesan looks amazing, so let's take that out. Oh, yes. This looks so good. Hold on. This is hot. Let me get this cord. Let's look at our chicken parm. And then look good. Yeah, our um, meatloaf is looking really good. Let's take a look at it. And I want to make um, our sauce for it. So here's our here's our meatloaf. Ah! Here's our meatloaf, and it's looking good. So I'm gonna put that back in. All right, so I put our um I put our uh, meatloaf back in. I'm gonna set the chicken parm right there. Okay. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna make uh, just a little sauce. So I'm just taking some, I'm gonna take some barbecue sauce. A little spicy and a little sweet. Aaliyah has finally gone to sleep. She's taking a nap. A little bit of mustard. And we're going to cook this down. Just a little bit. Yo, yo. Yummers. Yes. 
Let those keep marinating. And we're going to start our cooking. I put a little wishes here. And my sauce too. I don't know what it is about Worcestershire or Worcestershire or whatever. I love it. In my, I like it in my meats and in my sauces. It gets everything with a different taste. So we're just gonna warm that up. down just to a, sim a little simmer. And then I'm going to turn my vegetables down too. Put that on a simmer on the low. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off my sauce. I just wanted to warm that up just a little bit. She was singing herself a lullaby. <laughs> Mom. Okay. Maybe she was. Maybe. Okay. All right, so we are pretty much done. So I'm going to take out our loaves. take some of our sauce and I'm only putting just a little bit on there because once it's finally done we're going to top it with the rest the remaining This is the sauce I like on my meatloaf. I know some people like gravy. Every now and then I like gravy, but I don't know. I think I was kind of, I don't know. Was I raised on like the barbecue ketchup sauce on my meatloaf? I don't know. I just feel like I like it way better than, than gravy. I'd rather have the gravy on my mashed potatoes. Okay, so we're going to leave the rest of that sauce for afterwards because this is going to cook down into our meatloaf. Guys, this meatloaf looks and it smells delicious. Look at that. It looks so good. 
I'm going to place them back into the oven. Oh, I kind of threw that one. <laughs> All right, so those are back in the oven. And while those are in the oven, I'm going to grab my meal prepping bowls to apply it. The boys are they were they're laying down out of the kitchen. No more kitchen time for them. Alright, so what we're going to do I have these um, milk prep containers. They're already portioned out. Just like a little lad. Oh no, he had fish and loaves of bread, not meat loaves. What? I don't get it. <laughs> oh no, he had just like that little lad. Oh no, he had fish and loaves of bread, not meat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I get it now. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, Ziggy. One moment. All right, I'm going to turn this off because our vegetables are to perfection. Voila, we have our first one. Here's our first chicken pie. y'all out we almost done with the show they were so good weren't they y'all no usually i can never get to the show yeah. 
Yes, ma'am. I know the story. Just took me a minute. All right, and here is our, we finished our um, chicken parmesan with our butternut squash and our green vegetable medley. What I'm going to do, I like to, I'm going to wrap these with saran. In case my client wants to freeze them, she's not going to eat them right away. She'll be able to put these in the freezer and then she could take them out and heat them. What are the meatloaves doing? Oh, yeah, they're probably ready. All right, so I like to saran wrap them pretty tight. We have our meal prep, our chicken farm, ready for the freezer. Client. So that's our chicken pine. I'll do the other two like this as well. Now we're going to move on to our meatloaf. Those oh. oh, yes, baby. Looks and smells delish. Okay, so I'm going to do these a little different. Um, Let me see if I can get this out. You know what? Let me get this. Okay, I don't think Ziggy wanted to go out. I think he just wants the food. Because he laid back down. Her 
earth is low. And y'all, I am so glad I have a um a dishwasher. <laughs> okay, y'all, look at that me love. Hold on, I'm trying to get you angles. Can y'all see that? Look at that me love. Oh yes. So good. Alright, that's one. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just trying to get these cords over here. That piece of meat was. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and get our This one I'm going to do a little different. Get our vegetables on the side of this. And last one, please. Our mash.
And then I always wrap up all the extras. Um, like I have extra vegetables and I will wrap that up for the client. But there we have it. There we have it, folks. Our meatloaf meal prep. We've got our meatloaf, our vegetables, our cauliflower mash, and our butternut squash. Doesn't that look amazing? And then we're just going to take the rest of that sauce and we're going to put some of that on top. And there we have it. So my client has six meals, six meals that she can choose for the next couple days. She can freeze some. She can freeze them all if she chooses and, you know, take a meal out what she wants. So there we have it. We have our, again, we did meal prepping today. We did a chicken, plant-based chicken parmesan with pesto. We did a green vegetable medley with broccoli, green bean, onion, although that's not green, and zucchini. And we did butternut squash with um, some coconut palm sugar, honey, and cinnamon. So that's our Parmesan, chicken Parmesan meal prep. And then we have our meatloaf. Where is it at? Okay, so we had our meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. Um, we have our green vegetable, of course, our butternut squash, and cauliflower mash to go with this one. And this is our meatloaf meal prep. Okay. And this is how it looks once, uh, once I wrap them. And uh, they're ready to go. I'll deliver them to my client. And my client can freeze them if she wants. Um, they are sealed, saran wrapped. And then uh, the top is put on. So she could pop them in the freezer. When she's ready to eat, she could take it out, warm it up. Or she could just leave it in the fridge. So you have a meal a day for the next six days. So, y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's our show, okay? I just wanted to come on live. I missed you guys um, to meal prep with my for my client. Um, 
and that was it that was it i hope you guys enjoyed the show um if you are interested in having your meals prepped by more i'll be more than happy to service you you can always uh send me a direct message um you can comment on this video um or if you have my number you can give me a call send me a text but you can also uh, direct message me on Facebook um, or on Messenger as well if you would like my services. Um, but that's it, guys. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys coming on this Wednesday evening um, to cook with your girls, see what I'm doing. Um, I love you guys. Again, it's your favorite host. It's your girls, Jills. And this is the Instant Jills Show. I hope you all enjoyed my meal prep. And I will see you guys soon, okay? Uh, remember to give love. Remember to sow love and you will reap love because that's what this world needs, a lot more love. So you guys, make sure you're giving love. Make sure you're sowing love and love will be returned to you. I love y'all. You guys have a great evening and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Love y'all. Oh, 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 oh,